Good morning and welcome to my version of Vlogmas. I know you're wondering, Kelly, you're late. And you'd be right, I am. But Christmas is literally my favorite holiday in the world. And I know it doesn't seem like it because my room is like not decorated at all this year. But that's because I've been so busy with school and work. I actually wasn't planning on doing any version of Vlogmas. You know, I was watching YouTubers on YouTube film and produce content for vlogmas and i was like no way i am not doing that that's literally going to be so exhausting uh, that would kill me i would never want that sounds awful right and i see that it takes a toll on a lot of them but you know what i was like i want to challenge myself i want to see how well i could do um lord knows and you guys know that i'm really bad at posting especially when i'm working full-time and going to school full-time but you know with school ending as of friday i decided you know what else am i going to do yes i still am working a full-time job but on the weekends and the times when I am off, I'm not going to be focusing on my academics and focusing on school, so why not do Vlogmas? I am going to be doing seven days of Vlogmas, so I'm going to see how far I can get. I don't know, I'm not promising anything, but in this video today, I just wanted to go over kind of a semester recap and also kind of give you guys an update on where I'm planning to go with my future, academic-wise and career-wise. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I am thinking about getting my master's. Like I said before, the thought really never crossed my mind. I was like, me getting a master's? I don't think so. I'm not doing that. Thesis, not for me, pass. Um, long 15 page papers, not for me, pass. But you know, after a lot of thought, um, and since I've picked up my new job where I'm working with adults with disabilities, I have feel like I've turned a new leaf. I've had an epiphany, I've really come to realize that social work is really for me. Like I feel, I truly feel that that is where my heart is. I'm helping others and working with people um, and doing social work. Um, I feel like I can definitely progress in that career. So that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. Um, but before we get to the masters, let's talk about what just happened this past semester. This semester has been crazy. I would definitely say it's been one of my hardest semesters. Um, in my four years of going to college, I do have one more semester left, spring 2021. Hopefully we get to graduate and walk the stage. Um, my fingers are crossed for that. But I just want to pop in really quick and explain graduation. So Sac State gave us a survey about a week ago, or I think it was like two weeks ago, um, giving us three options for graduation. One, which is like a drive-by graduation where you have a certain amount of people in your car and you like drive, I'm guessing, around the school or in the parking structures and graduate. Two a virtual graduation, which is what they did last year, which is absolutely unacceptable. Um, it's an online graduation. I think it's a video or maybe it's like a live video and they just put pictures up, I believe, and like quotes. And three, having our graduation in the Hornet Stadium, which is the football field um, at Sac State, which is honestly the best option. Do we want to all be at Golden One like all the other years as we so deserve to be? Yes. Um, I'm really hoping that's still an option, especially once the vaccine gets released. But um, that's the one I voted for. That seems to be what the majority of students are kind of rooting for is the stadium. We'll see what happens and back to the video. I honestly have never felt as overwhelmed as I did um, this semester. I definitely felt the pressure and I don't know if it's because I was switching jobs in between. I don't know if it's because this is the first time we've had a full semester online. I really don't know what it is but it really 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 took a toll on me and it was very stressful. I am so happy and so thankful that it's over. It does make me nervous for next semester, but I'm hoping that next semester goes smoothly. I am concerned because as a senior, you guys, I don't know if you guys know a senior or you are a senior, but your senior year or your senior semester, it's supposed to be a little bit lighter. It's supposed to be on the lighter side. So it's not supposed to be as stressful um, as previous semesters. Now let's run it back. I'm a journalism major right now. So I'm getting my bachelor's in journalism. I was not planning on getting a master's in social work. I was not planning on doing anything in social work up until this last semester. I started really considering getting my master's about, I think it was like the middle of October. Um, so I wasn't prepared classes and credit wise to go into the master's program right after I graduated with my bachelor's in journalism. I was researching what prerequisites do I need to get my master's in um, social work. And I needed to take two classes, stats, and a biology class. I didn't pass my biology class with a C. I passed it with a C minus, so I had to take another class. So I had added social work stats and also anthropology one to cover those two requirements um, when I registered in November. Fast forward now, I'm starting to fill out my application. And when you fill out your application for the master's, you have to fill out a CSU application. And then you also have to fill out 
um, the Sac State application or whatever, whatever school you're going to. I finished my CSU application. My friends were filling out their Sac State um, master's application and they got to the section that said you have to list three um, cultural and diversity classes and I had only taken two. And I was like, damn, I have 12 units on my schedule already. That's four classes. I'm gonna be working full time and going to school full time and I was not looking forward to adding another class. But that was the reality of my situation. I needed to take one more class on top of the two classes that I was taking in order to apply for the master's program. So I just recently found that out last week. I was really bummed out about it, but I'm also very thankful that I even had the opportunity to take the class. So what I'm gonna do is add that fifth class into my schedule when school starts and I'm just gonna power through it. So I am nervous for next semester but I am confident that it'll work out, that God will get me through it because I really, really want this. So the social work master's program is two years, I believe. I'd be starting right after I graduate, fall 2021. So the deadline for the application is January 15th, I believe. Um, and that's what we're gonna do today. I've heard it's not too hard, but you do have to fill it out in one sitting. Um, you can't go back to the application, so you have to do it all at one time. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be using my desktop and my laptop to fill out this application because I know I have to have my transcripts pulled up when I fill it out. Oh! Because I know I have to have my transcripts pulled up when I fill it out and I don't want to have to be switching from one tab to another. Say hi! Okay, so I just finished my application. I'm literally just about to um, sign it and hit submit. I'm really, really nervous, but I feel like I did everything correct. If I made any errors, I'm hoping that they don't care too much. Um, but yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I just submitted it, it's all done. Okay, so I just finished my application. I don't think that we hear back if we got accepted into the program until I think it's like March of next year. March of 2021, so I'm not really sure. But um, whatever happens, happens. If I don't get in this year, then I'm taking out the time to take a year off um, to kind of just get more experience in the field. And then I'll try again next year if that's what I'm still wanting to do. I can't believe that I actually submitted the application. Getting my master's degree was not something that I ever imagined doing. If you guys are on the fence about it and thinking about it, I would recommend that you just take the leap. Yes, it's expensive, but if it's in a career field that you're interested in, I think it will be well worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next 7 days of vlogmas video. Bye!